Hi, welcome to Notes in 9, a screencast series featuring tips and topics on Lotus Notes. I'm David Leedy from www.lotusnotebook.com. Today we're going to talk about repeat controls inside an X page. What are repeat controls? They're an alternative to a view control, but they're actually much more than that. Uh, they're, they're very powerful in our layout and design guidelines. Um, we're no longer limited to just a table and grid kind of view. Uh, but they are, again, much more than that. You can have repeat controls inside repeat controls and do a lot of advanced things. But today we're going to just talk about a very basic example uh, for, for beginners out there. Uh, in this basic example, we're going to have an application that stores favorite links. Um, and we want to display the, the links inside anything that doesn't look like a grid uh, in a non-table looking format. Uh, and finally, we want to make sure the links are clickable. All right, so let's get to it. Okay, so here we have a traditional notes application so far. I've got a form here with two fields, description and URL. I've got a view showing the description and URL sorted by description. And I've populated it with some test data. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is go to our X pages. We're going to create a new X page. Okay, now let's, before we do anything, let's just throw a little text on here. We'll call my links. Okay, now uh, for what we want to do here is we're going to bind the X pages, the X page, to some data. Now there's two ways to bind a page to data. One is on the properties section of the page. We've got a data option here. Uh, we also have data coming over here next to the controls. Okay, so either one will work. So we're going to say add right down here under the properties section. We're going to add a domino view. We're going to call this, which is going to be in the current database, and we're going to use the view description and the data source name that can stay for now. Okay, now what do we want to do here is we want to have a non-table grid. Um, if we just dropped a view control on here, what we're going to get is a traditional table kind of grid. And if we look at this in um, Internet Explorer, you'll see we've got our data and we've got our URLs in a nice grid. There's no functionality yet, but we would have a pager if we had too much data. Um, but we don't want it to look like this. You know, let's let's have it look differently. Um, so let's first get rid of this. And to make it look different is we're going to use the repeat control. So let's drag the repeat control onto the form. And what the repeat control is going to do is it's bound to our data source, which is view one. So it's going to go, it's going to access every document that's in that view. And uh, let's give it a collection name so we can refer to these documents individually later. Um, so, but the repeat control itself doesn't really do anything. Um, we need to put fields and, and containers in here. Um, so let's drop a container in a panel, which is kind of like a div. So now we've got a nice containing object for what we want to uh, for the data that we're going to put in here. And and remember, this is a basic example, but you can have more advanced things in here. You can have repeat controls within repeats, um, and and the sky is kind of the limit. It appears with these repeat controls. Okay, so we've got a repeat control that's bound to the data of the page. We've got a collection name of row data. Let's uh, drag a control on. We're going to use computed field, and that's going to contain the description of of our URL. That's that's the description field in the form. So for the computed field, we can go to value, and we can use simple data binding and say description. Now it's that's going to display this data. If we look at it in the web browser. It displays the data. Doesn't look nice, but we're, we'll get to that. The next thing we want to add now is the link control. And we're going to drag that right underneath the computed field. Now, the link control doesn't really have a simple data binding option. Um, we want this URL to reflect the URL field in the underlining document. So the way we're going to do that is by computing it. Uh, one of the great things about X pages is all these diamonds are available and we can compute just about anything in the world. 
So we're going to compute this value. Now previously we named it row data. So we're going to call, uh, use server-side JavaScript. And we'll start with row data. Okay, now what is row data? It's, uh, you know, it, it's almost like a, like a notes view entry or a notes document, but it's really not either. Uh, I think it's called an, X, an X, XSP document, uh, but I'm not 100% sure about that. But what we need to do here is we're going to do a row data, and we're going to use the, the, the method get document. So this will give us the back end notes document. So now we're getting back into our notes document object model, which all the Lotus Script developers uh, know and love. And we're going to get the value of the URL field. And there's another method here. Get item value string. There's a bunch of get item value methods, and you know notes still does have multi-value fields and all that good stuff. So this will just bring it back as a simple string, and the field name is going to be URL. So we're going to click OK here, and now let's look at this. Let's see where we're at. Okay, so now we've got. It looking like this which really doesn't look that good yet if we add a simple enter to our panel and preview it again we'll at least get some separation okay so now instead of a normal table with two columns now we're, we've got the almost alternating lines so we've got the link here's the Domino Designer website here's uh, Chris Tui's website El Guji. so all these links are working as we would expect okay but we can make this prettier now the way you can make this prettier is with CSS so if we look at our resources style sheets now I, I have some CSS done right here okay I have a little link panel um, section. Now, I kind of stole this idea and concept from uh, IBM came out with this profiles application um, and they, they use these blocks which you're about to see. So I, I made a, a, f a little modification to make it a little more IE friendly uh, but other than that, this is from their profiles application. So credit where credit is due. So we're going to click on our panel. Oh, first we have to go to the page under resources. We need to add the style sheet to the page. Then if we click on our panel, style it, and we're going to call it link panel. Now, if we see it in Internet Explorer, you'll notice it looks a lot prettier. So instead of having the normal data table grid, we're going left to right in nice little boxes. If this was uh, Firefox, we'd have rounded corners on the box. And that's what we have. And of course, these links do work. Click on one of them. And it will open up another web page. Okay, so to sum everything up, what we've seen is uh, we had a small taste of server-side JavaScript on our link control uh, when we looked up the, the actual URL from the document. Uh, we were able to combine some CSS using repeat controls to break away from the traditional you know, table looking grid. Um, and again, this was just a basic example only. Uh, you can do a lot more with repeat controls and that'll probably be future topics. So where do you go for more information? Well, uh, Declan has a great site at QTZAR. Uh, dot com. No, I have no idea what that means. Uh, but it's a great Learning X Pages series, uh, and I highly mac recommend you uh, check it out. Um, John Mackey has uh, for a long time been posting good X Pages tips, and he actually has a good series of using a repeat control with file attachments, which is uh, worthwhile. Um, the Domino Designer Wiki um, has a lot of good information, and of course, PlanetLotus.org uh, is a good place to go for the latest news. Uh, and tips and, and I recommend using the search button to search on X pages. Okay, if you uh, want to talk to me, uh, here's my contact information. Um, again, I'm from lotusnotebook.com and I thank you for your time.